Yeah, so I've been seeing a lot of these um, why I'm no longer vegan videos and you know across the internet and I just wanted to show you why I'm still vegan. Um, here we are in a here we are on a pig farm. It absolutely stinks in here. Disgusting place. Um, this is a bacon factory. These are sentient animals, sentient beings. Um, a lot of these uh, ex-vegans haven't spent one second in a place like this. Haven't seen the suffering on these animals' faces. They haven't spent one second out the front of a gas chamber. Heard these animals screaming, begging for mercy. <laughs> I haven't spent one second on a slaughterhouse kill floor and watch these animals be stabbed in the jugular and have the blood drain from their neck. They're gone, they're dead. That was probably one of the most hardest things I've had to, had to witness, eh? They haven't spent one second. So I can totally understand why they don't have that type of perspective um, because they haven't witnessed what I've witnessed. So I just wanted to show you why I'm still vegan. Because of her. Uh, I want to show you why I'm still vegan. Come over to this truck over here. All right, so in this truck, uh, individuals, sentient beings, childlike animals, and they're on their way in there to be stabbed in the neck and chopped up so people can have a sandwich. Okay? People ask me why I'm still vegan. It's because a holocaust like this continues because consumers are paying for slaughterhouses to exist. Because of her, because of this mother here, laying in this farrowing crate huh? for weeks on end. Get the lights on, suffering in her face. These are mothers, okay? Exploited till they can't produce piglet piglets anymore, and then sent off to be gas chambered. This is their life. Do you know what causes this? Farmers don't cause this. Non veganism causes this. So, this is why I'm still vegan. Why wouldn't you be vegan? I mean, if you care about justice, if you care about dogs, if you care about animals at all, why would you pay for them to be stabbed in the neck, gas tabled? Innocent beings like this, infant animals, six months old, okay? I would never go back to causing harm to them. It's not justified, and it's just evil, pure evil. Look at these babies here. These angels here, these angels here, this is why I'm still vegan. Beautiful babies. We do this for these animals. We farm them like slaves. We treat them as products, okay? And we eat their body parts and it gives us heart disease. I mean, destroying the planet as well. This doesn't make sense. If you're ever questioning your ethical position on this, come to a slaughterhouse, face those animals before they go in there, look those animals in the eyes and tell them that you know your burger justifies what we do to them. I love I love these animals. I love these animals so much man. They're so beautiful. You know, the best thing we can do is convince people to stop running those industries, isn't it? I mean, the power is in our hands and... Like, it might seem like we're helpless, but they're truly helpless. But we can do something to stop this, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the power's in our hands. We're the only one who can liberate them. They can't save themselves, so... Just use that to fuel you. Yeah. As hard as so it is. It's like when you feel helpless, it's the worst. Yeah. You can feel like you're doing something. We are doing something. We are doing you're something. You are doing something? Yeah. We're all collectively doing something. There's 70 people out the front of here. And this is just one slaughterhouse. It's a Monday morning. All right, the yep. movement is exploding. So this isn't going to be around forever, places like this. Yeah. But it's just really so sad this. that we can't help them right now. Hey, this is Kay. Why are you Hi. still vegan? 
Why are you still vegan? I'm still vegan because it's not food. It, it's not food that's on our plates. It's a living, breathing being that suffers, that feels love, that feels pain. And I think just being here today and seeing them, looking into their eyes and, and, and seeing the fear and, and actually feeling their bodies and it's still warm. Mm. It's just it's like, I don't, I, we've be, become so disconnected seeing it as food when it's all in bits and packaged up we don't see the faces we don't feel the emotions yeah. and it's real it's there like by the millions by the truckload every single day mm. and it's, it's just really shocking could, could you ever see yourself going back to eating animals never never, never ever ever it's, it's not food it's, it's a living creature just just like us and just because they don't look like us people are you know, desensitized because it's, it's speciesism. I can't even say the word because I'm so like distraught right now. Yeah, well, darling, it's speciesism. It is. That's it. That's the one. So vegan for life. <laughs> vegan for life. And my next life too. And our next life as <laughs> yeah. well. Just to seal the deal. How can anyone hurt that beautiful face? No. Why am I still vegan? because I think of the victims, not of myself.